whenever. Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So four times two x plus one. What do I get? Two x squared plus negative two x plus one. What? What's two x plus one times four? Oh. Eight x plus. Yeah. Do we want to get eight x? So now I change it to addition. Eight x plus four. So it's minus. So it's negative eight x plus negative four. Does that make sense? Sure. Do you get that? Yeah, I got it. What's the answer at the end? What do I get? Well, let's subtract these. What do I get when I subtract these? Negative? One. Negative one? Why do I get nine. negative? Negative nine. Come on, try. Nine. Try, come on. It's negative eight. We changed it to addition, right? I don't know what's going on. It's like a negative and it's a positive. <laughs> okay, let me show it to you again. No, this is not only shrug, though. So, shrug, thank you for being honest here. Hey, shrug, right here. You know, okay, let's go back to that first example. Do you understand that we're subtracting top one minus the bottom one? Yes. Okay. We're doing the same thing, Shrug. When you multiply right here, we understand. do you understand why it's 4 right here? Because we got 8x, right? So yeah. what times 2x gives you 8x? Well, 4. four. So it's 2x time plus 4 times 4. I mean, 2x plus 1 times 4 is 8x plus 4. I'm subtracting this whole binomial. So there's a negative sign out right here in front. So what's 8x minus 8x? Zero. What's negative 5 minus 4? Yeah, that's why we get negative 9. All right. okay. That's all. Now, if you don't want like, to change it, don't. But make sure you gotta, you're you subtracting both of these from top to bottom. All right. What's the answer, class? I have a remainder this time. So what do we do with the remainder? Colleen? 2x squared minus 2x plus 4 minus negative 9 minus 4. Excellent. Plus negative. What does this remind you of? The example, which one? one? One. The example one. When you have a remainder, when you're dividing, when you're doing long division, isn't it? Whatever you're dividing it by, divide. I mean, whatever this remainder over the whatever you're dividing it by, it's the same idea. So you get a mixed expression. Is it possible to get mixed expressions? Yeah. yeah this means what? Two x plus one does not go into this polynomial evenly. In other words, there's going to be some uh, remainder uh, here. So is it possible, is it okay if I write minus 9 over 2x plus 1? Is that the same thing? Yeah. yeah. Plus negative 9, isn't that the same as minus 9 over? That? So either way is fine. You get a mixed expression. Does this make sense? In other words, if, if you get a remainder, does, that means that polynomial on numerator does not factor. It does not have a factor of uh, 2x plus 1. Okay. Anyway, okay, so uh, may I go on to the next example? Oh, Mr. Hall? Yes. You know how, like, on the first, the first example? So I'm going to show you example five. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, that's really, really easy. It looks very simple. You got a two terms. Oh, I know it's two. And uh, you got, you got a, it looks like you got a binomial and a binomial. It should be really easy. So guess what? A lot of people would just start it this way. And if you do it this way, it's, it's not wrong. It gets really, really hard. You don't want to do it this way. So let me show you. <laughs> let me show you what you should do first. First of all, you need to write this in standard form. And you're like, wait a minute. Look at the numerator and the denominator. Aren't they both in standard form? No. No? Yes, they are. <laughs> so why do I say? <laughs> now why do I say you need to write them in standard form? Well, not any kind of standard form, but write this down. Using zero coefficients for missing terms if needed. This time it's going to be needed. Every time when you whenever you're missing, actually I don't. I shouldn't even say if needed. You're gonna do this. <laughs> you're gonna have to use. Well, this time we need this, right? Because it's missing term. So using zero coefficient for missing term. Okay. Yeah, I don't need this. But so do we have any missing terms? What do I mean by missing term? Harrison? Look at the numerator. Numerator does have some missing terms. What do I mean by this? You, you think? <laughs> Okay, not, not question. Okay, how about I, I'll come back to you. 
Um, Judy? No, numerator, just because numerator is binomial, some binomials will not have any missing terms. This binomial does have missing terms, by the way. People that see it, how many missing terms do I have? Two, Two is right. Oh. Emily, why do I say it's got missing terms? What are the missing terms? If you think there are two. Which terms am I missing? I'm missing... Alright, well, here, here we, have, we have y to the third power, right? Do we have any y to the second power? That's the term is missing. What about the other, another one? Y to the first. So this is what I want you to write. Guys, this is going to be really, really helpful, Aaron. When you, instead of writing it this way on top, if you do it this way, it's going to get really, really ugly. I think it's not going to look nice. Why do you suppose I need to, by the way, what's 0 times y to the second power? 0. What's 0 times y to the first? Zero. So I could have written down zero plus zero if I wanted to, but just to kind of look nice, you know, to show you that these are the missing terms. You see, I have y to the third, y to the second, y to the first. You see, and now I have the, this term in there, but their values is really zero. Right? Their coefficient is really zero. Uh, why? Do you, anybody see any benefit? Why do you think I want to put in all these missing terms? If I, yeah, what do you think? Judy? You don't even why? Okay, you see why. Okay, everybody go ahead and do it. I'll give you time. Everybody go ahead and divide it like this. Okay, you see the benefit as you do this. Because imagine, and as you do this, imagine if you didn't put those in, what would happen? Okay, everybody go ahead and try. See if you can figure out why I'm asking you to put down these missing terms. Go ahead. First of all, why you guys try this? Do you guys see the benefit? Uh, raise your hand. Why do you, I ask you to fill in these missing terms? Emily, let's listen. Oh, really? Without, without putting in the yeah. really? Okay, fine. Yes. Madeline, why do you think I ask you to fill in these? Yes. You, yeah, you will have, in other words, things will not line up properly. Does that make sense? With the uh, like, like terms, it will not line up. Does that make sense? So, but if you do it the other way, so, fine. Harrison, then, what do I do here? What do I need to multiply y so that it becomes y third? Y That's right. So I, not, I write y squared. And what do I need to write on the bottom? Uh, negative y squared. I mean, negative y cubed plus y squared. Yeah, okay, it's good. So you're subtracting y cubed minus y squared, right guys? Right, hello? So let's change it to addition. When I do this, I get plus negative y cubed plus y squared. Isn't that right, guys? What do I get when I then add them together? Judy? Yeah, y squared. I just put that in zero. Is that okay? I just put that in zero. Because after all, what's zero times y to the first? Zero. Okay, then it's going to be plus something. Who have my call? Tom, uh, Thomas? What do I need to multiply y so that I get y is the second power? Um, so you by y oh, you, so you mean what goes y? You mean y so that you get y squared, you're right. Okay, so then we get y squared minus y. Do you think it's best if I change it to addition? Let's do that. Plus negative y plus y. What do I get when I. Add these together then, if you want. Um, one person? Derek? Yeah, I get y plus y. Then, how many times does go y going to y, class? Once. Okay, once. 
So you write y plus negative y minus y minus 1 in parentheses. Again, when you subtract, I get 3, right? Yeah, That's how you get it wrong. What do I get, cos? 5, 5, negative 5. 7. Okay, so here's the answer. Why? Why? So you get a remainder, so it becomes everything that we had on the numerator, I mean, on top here, y squared plus y plus 1, right? Plus 5 over uh, y minus 1, whatever we're dividing. Yes, question? Yeah. Um, like, here, Okay, so you want me to write y squared above y cubed? Yeah, okay, well, look, if you look at the very first example, then why don't we put 1 on top of 4? Yeah, so we're looking at 43, you see? It's the same way. I mean, on, your book actually does put it in front of us. I think it make, make, makes more sense when you put it, right? Yeah, it's just like this. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I put one you know, the last digit of what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? So that's a good question. Okay. Uh, here's one last question. Any, are we okay with this one, by the way? Yeah. Good. <laughs> that's better than three, right? Okay, everyone, go ahead and try this quickly. By the way, how many missing terms do I have on the numerator? Three. Three, this time three, right? Everybody go ahead and try. Go ahead, everybody. Yes, we do. Good. Since Because we don't have much time, did you get... How many got this and at the end, you get this? I got... How many, raise your hand. If you didn't, try it at home. I was right. This is... You got it right? Excellent. Okay, go down. When you do this, you get this as well. Okay, again, let me see your hands. Let me see. Okay, if you didn't, make sure you fix this because this is actually from your homework. Okay. All right. Any question? Hey, guys, any question? Any questions?